working on the old E36 today. So here's my black one. Here's WOGS, brand new 328. Man, looks freaking good right now. Um, so basically he bought the car and it came with a racing seat and WOGS a big guy, so he can't fit in that racing seat. So I bought it off the kid who was giving it to him because he was trying to take it anyway. And then I bought the steering wheel off a of WOG too. So I'm about to put the Sparco steering wheel and the racing seat into my car. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I already started, sadly, but I already took out the um, steering wheel. So basically you just take out this one bolt because there's a hub and then it pulls right off, as you can see, Barco steering wheel. Um, so I'm gonna just take out this racing seat next. All you gotta do, I'm just gonna take off the sides and then I'll be able to get to the insides easier. So, yep, get into that. So might as well just finish that up. It's not hard. So one bolt, one bolt, and then two on the other side. I'm just gonna use the open end wrench and then she should pop out and then we're putting her in here. So I'm giving Wog my black seat, sport seat. So should be cool in my steering wheel. So yeah, it's gonna run those and uh, we'll get these babies swapped out. You guys probably already know how to do a, a seat and a steering wheel. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Just gonna show you what's up when, it, when it's done. And uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Go Alright guys, so I just got the seat out and seat rail. Man, it was actually kind of more of a pain than I thought it would be because first of all, um, these this side these bolts you can get out easily obviously they're on the side but these bolts you see how they're welded under so you have to only you can use an open end wrench and you have to kind of finagle it out of there so it's kind of a pain still only took me about 10 minutes not bad but um yeah just not as easy as i thought it would be so it's okay but there's the seat here's the rails and then uh now i'm about to take out my seat and then we're gonna put it in hog's car put my steering wheel in there then we'll do the install and in that seat in here and everything like that so yeah, do you mind? Go yard. All right guys, so I got my seat out and uh, into his. So yeah, she's got a little two-tone style going on, but it's an E36, it'll go. Um, so now I'm just gonna install the steering wheels. I'm not gonna time lapse that because you guys probably already know how to do a steering wheel. I'm gonna uh, uh, take a video of the after. So let's do that. What is up guys, we finally got it done. So here's the final product. Looking good, all black on black on black. So, Sparco wheel with a hub, then a racing seat. Nothing crazy, just uh, make it a little bit more drift ready. My black sedan. So now, we're gonna work on Hoggy's little red car. So his bumper cover is sagging a little bit. You see it's a little bit loose. Second, be careful, see it's loose. So it's missing the little clips. I'll show you. Where did I put them? Right here. Missing these clips, this one's bent, but um. Yeah, it needs these clips. We're gonna take them out of this old bumper that I have, put them all in there, and it should be good, and it should be holding a lot better. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> 